So if you're thinking about buying a Tesla, then one of the main reasons that you might wanna consider a Tesla is the autopilot. And it actually comes standard on whatever Tesla you get. There's full self-driving, there's enhanced autopilot, but what about the normal autopilot? How good is it? How good is it in the rain, in traffic? Well, we're gonna go over all of that with real on-the-road examples. And I don't know if you can tell, I haven't touched the wheel once. Let's go into this review of the Tesla's brand new 2021 refresh of the autopilot. Welcome to the channel. My name is Matt. This is Front to Trunk, where we go over everything on your brand new or coming soon Tesla and all of the wonderful accessories and software updates in between. So like I said, I am in rush hour right now and one of the prime features of the Tesla that can really take a lot of stress off of your mind is the autopilot. So currently I am using autopilot and I will tell you one thing, it is absolutely amazing in rush hour. So if you have a long commute, all that stress, oh, those constant little adjustments you're making when you're driving, they really just go away. The Tesla drives itself, it keeps you within the lane, it keeps you even a customized distance between the car in front of you. It really does take that tired feeling away after a lot of rush hour. So point number one, does autopilot work in rush hour in a congested area? Well, it absolutely does. So what about changing environments? Well, you can actually see right here, I'm about to go into a tunnel, so it's gonna get a little bit darker, but how does it adjust to the change in lighting? How does it do in a narrow space? So we can see here, it's fairly narrow. So again, this is the tunnel that I am in. I am using autopilot, and you can see here, it's keeping that following distance, and it's a very smooth ride. So you can see there's a wall to the left of us. It's, it's quite narrow, but the, again, the autopilot is so smart and intelligent it's reading this constantly and making really fine-tuned adjustments so again we are in autopilot so here's the thing if you have autopilot that comes with your Tesla some things that it will not do so at this time it does not address stoplights or change lanes for you so I'm actually going to change a lane right now and you're gonna hear the tone whenever I take the car out of autopilot. So right now I'm gonna take control of the car and there's the tone and I'm gonna signal manually. So I'm moving lanes myself. I actually have to move over two lanes and then you'll listen, I'll put it back into autopilot. Just like that. Now the car is driving itself. So we're going around a pretty steep turn. Now I'm putting my hands up so you can see the car is driving itself. Um, now this is about 25 miles an hour. Um, I will say you definitely want to lower your speed if you're coming off of a highway onto a, a steeper turn. It really does help the car take those turns a lot more safely. So what about times when the driving is not so ideal and it might be raining? How does autopilot do in the rain? So now again, we are using Tesla Vision. My hands are off the wheel, but I am paying attention. So let's see how it does here. Again, it's raining fairly strong. And the only things I can do are adjust the speed and take it out of autopilot. So you take it out of autopilot by turning the wheel more sharply, tapping the brake, or pushing the column on the steering wheel up, the right column, you push it up and that disengages autopilot. So it's saying to apply slight turning force to the wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the wheel slightly, and also, I don't know if you can tell, but when you're in autopilot, your windshield wipers, you do not have control of that. They're automatically going to sense the rain and turn on with the appropriate power. The same thing is true of your headlights. So I found that the headlights are fairly sensitive. So sometimes even with traffic coming, uh, they, they will turn on the high beams and I don't want them to turn on. A little fact, my autopilot just said I'm restricted to 30 miles an hour trying to increase the speed of my auto steer and it will not go above 30. Now, you might think it's because of the speed limit, but I have not seen this before, even with areas at 25 miles an hour. So you can set that speed limit or that cruise control, that speed setting by scrolling the toggle on your steering wheel down. So it's actually the right steering wheel toggle and right now I'm actually changing my speed so you can see it here on the steering wheel. So again, I'm an autopilot here and you can see my speed, it's at 67, 65, 64, and so on. So that number right there next to the speed 
um, that I'm actually going is my set speed. So it's another day here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we are trying the autopilot. You just saw some footage of what it looks like in the rain. So again, this is Tesla Vision, brand new for 2021. There's no radar anymore on the Teslas. Now let's show you what it looks like in a more congested setting with traffic coming at us. So there's oncoming traffic, there's multiple lanes. Uh, let's go ahead and give you an example of that and see how well it performs. So I'm in the leftmost lane. Let's go ahead and engage autopilot. So I wanna see what this does whenever we have cars coming at us. So I do have a phone mount. I'll eventually have footage from right above my shoulder as if you're driving with me. So go ahead and subscribe to see that footage coming up very soon in other videos. So you see here, even though it's green, the car is acknowledging that there's uh, traffic in front of me and my speed is set to 35 miles an hour. So let's just take a few runs here and have a car pass us. It is saying apply slight turning force. You'll get that blue coloring. You wanna just jiggle the wheel and you'll see that it goes away. So here's some traffic that's slowed down. Again, my hands are not on the wheel. Let's see how this does. There's all kinds of traffic around us. There's cars coming at us on either side. Very comfortable. So this is a really um, improved, I think, intuitive, uh, system this Tesla vision again we're still on autopilot so here's a pretty sharp bend coming up let's see how we manage this wow that, that was actually pretty surprising um, I have heard again it's giving us this warning now I've seen that if you use Tesla vision less often you're going to get more warnings to jiggle the wheel um, that's just my experience um, but again we can see full self-driving right here all in all, I would say a huge success. So now I wanna summarize my overall thoughts on the Tesla Vision. So let's go ahead and do that and wrap up this video. So overall thoughts of autopilot, if you have not driven a Tesla and you get in and you engage the autopilot, you're gonna be blown away. It's absolutely super impressive and one of the coolest features of your Tesla or soon to be delivered Tesla. So this was just the first impression video. Make sure to drop a like if you got some value out of this and subscribe so I know that you enjoy this content. There's gonna be so many more deep dive videos on features, accessories, news that comes out from Tesla. So again, this is Matt from Frunk to Trunk. Can't wait to see you in the next video.